um, more on the train in a bit. We're not boarding for another 10 minutes. We're going to look around the museum in here. We found one of those old railroad nails one time in a, in a river, actually. Yeah. With all these old lanterns in there. Some old railroad lanterns. That one has a key and a lock on it. That's some good old 15 steam locomotive. Famous. Engine 15. Ironically, Engine 15 is out of service today. It's being serviced, so we're gonna take a diesel engine instead. I was just notified when I got here. No steam engine today. Let's go see if they got magnets. Well, they got some hats here. T-shirts and magnets, thin magnets, but still something. The depot's still got that really old feel. That that steam engine 15 is 151 years old. This is what we're taking instead, though. Uh huh. The backup. And here's the famous Shahela Centralia Railroad dining car that we are going to be riding in today. Mm hmm. Just about time to board. Welcome aboard. Hi there. Sir, you That's all right. Them. Thank you. Hey, okay, here we go. <laughs> That's cool. Nice. That's pretty cool little feel in here. It definitely feels and smells like an old railroad car. I think we're gonna sit right here. It's a nice view with a window, and people are still boarding. Mm -hmm. The breeze feels good. Uh, we do have to wear the masks, but apparently social distancing. They don't really care. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I think that's where they store the other one over there. Heck yeah. That's cool. Again, it's a 13 mile round trip train tour. <laughs> tube on that. Yeah. Hey, Christmas trees. The Christmas trees, I think. Maybe not. Hey. 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 traveling back in the 20s, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's the smell of like the wood and everything. It's nice. Moo cows. Lots of moo cows. Has anyone ever turned a railroad dining car into an RV? Oh, it got dark. Oh, there's another track next to us. I wonder what that's for. You are slowing down. Is that it? Now do we turn around? <laughs> hmm. And we stopped in Melbourne. This is where the train robbery happens. Yeah. <laughs> So that way he'll he'll reconnect on that end and pull us back to where we've started. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bye, Melbourne.
little train trip. Definitely worth it. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot see the steam engine train because they're they're getting it geared up for a, a dinner tour. So these two cars that are over there, they're going to bring those around and those are going to be part of the five o'clock dinner tour. That sounds a lot cooler than the one I just went on, but we can't see the steam engine. They're going to be working on it, I guess. And they're, they're asking for donations because they don't have enough money to fix it and bring it back right now. But they're shooting for next next August, a year from now to hopefully have it back up. I'm going to, uh, oh, I got one of my patrons that stopped by. I'm going to go say hi real quick and see if he can give me a, a jump start too. All right. Got my jump, my buddy Mike. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go eat. We found a restaurant open, so uh, we're gonna go try Applebee's in there. I'm sure I can find a burger or something. Then we'll get back out here, and I'm gonna need another jump. <laughs> I need to replace the batteries. What you need to do? So unlike uh, Little Creek Casino in Shelton, we all we can take the masks off once we sit down at our table. At least they are open for dining, though. And I'm eyeing that burg. Foods here. Mike got the quesadilla burger. That looks all right. Yeah, it does. And I went with their bacon cheeseburger and fries. I'll just let you know right now, you probably wouldn't like it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't moan because we're in public. That's fantastic. That's a good burger. You guys did good. All right, I'm glad you liked it. Can I get you guys anything else? I'm good right now, thank you. All right, you guys enjoy it. Oh, man. Yeah, that burger definitely hit the spot. Thank you, Applebee's, for, for being open. We actually pulled in here by accident. We were, we were going to go over to uh, Sonic and pulled into the wrong one. And I'm kind of glad. kind of glad they're open. Some restaurants are starting to open up their dining and have less restrictive rules, so it's good to see. The table right behind me says you can't use it because of social distancing. So they're still taking precautions and being safe, and I think it, it speaks volumes to Applebee's. So. And thank you again. Thank you again for the meal. I really appreciate no it. No problem. Buddy. Thank you, Eric. I'm going to get a jump start again and head back to camp. And we'll go check in on Jack, see how he's doing. I miss the little bugger. All right, made it back after my jump start. I don't know what's going on with the battery. When I plug in both my chargers, my motorcycle charger and my automotive charger, it says SOL on it. I don't know what that means, but I think it's time to replace the battery because it can't even hold a charge at all. Jack's man? No. Jack's man? How you doing, Mr. Kitty Kitty? I missed you, bugger. They didn't have any kitty burgers. No, they were all loud. They just had human burgers. I know, huh? You like the new frequency of videos, guys? Did you notice at least? I'm whipping them out. Having fun though, man. Enjoying life, enjoying the summer. Trying to enjoy it in a, in a safe manner and, and everything. Uh, I've also been taking the motorcycle out pretty much every single day here while I'm parked at Thousand Trails, because that's all I'm really doing is parking here. And Oh my gosh. Yesterday, I had an absolute epic day at a thrift store. And I recorded some stuff last night. I want to I wanna show you this to close my video out. I feel like I should preface this by saying this box was displayed as it is now, closed, okay? And it was behind a case. So I had to take the chance, but I, I knew what this was, but I had to ask the clerk to let me see that behind the case. And even he did not know what this was. But you guys remember me going to the Walt Disney Museum in, that was Missouri, I believe. And I pointed out something. Here, I'll show you that clip. Okay, I need that vinyl record player right there. I need that. I'm going to keep looking on eBay for that one. Circa 1960. Oh my. Walt the only thing I didn't know was if it was going to be complete, y'all. And look at this, an original absolute original mickey mouse club by lionel this is the rare 42015 model the very first one the one that is in the museum the exact model that's in the museum it does need some some cleanup but i'm going to be able to do that this piece comes on and off on the bottom there it's probably going to need it doesn't even have one yeah it's, it's going to need a new needle there uh it's electric plug in with speakers guys this is pretty rare for that for that age to have built-in speakers and to have it all one piece like this it does spin i did check that um but i'm gonna have to put a new needle on the end how does that go okay it goes like that and then on the record like that okay cool now this one may not be in as good condition as the one that was at walt disney's museum but it is the same exact one and I will be able to clean it up, make it look a lot nicer. It is going to be a great, great piece in my collection. I am so happy that I made that come true. I said, I'm going to get one. And guess what? I got one. Took a little longer, 
but I got my record player. Pretty neat little addition to my crazy growing Mickey Mouse collection. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna spend a few more nights out here, but I'll have another video for you in 48 hours. So stay tuned from Jackson and I. We will see you in two days. Bye, guys. <laughs>